I'll let them sit here for a bit. Got a lot more jumpy, so I gotta put them in quick. Oh, shoot. Crazy, there are earthworms in here. Hey GG family, uh, before we get to today's video, we want to throw another positive comment shout out to... Yes, my master. <laughs> <laughs> the positive comment shout out is going to be to Callie's Creatures, and she writes, looking great, awesome video by the way, I love seeing the progress. And we got a treat for you and all you GG family members out there, we are going to give you a progress update of the pond today. Check. What's up guys? James here. Uh, ah, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> uh, just got out of work right now. Uh, I'm gonna head over to the fish store. Uh, there's a close one by me. It's, it's called uh, Pet World. I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna grab a, a, another pump. I should have, when I built this pond, I should have built a, sec, a turn off or, or like an on off switch for like the, um, to redirect the flow just so I can siphon it out of the water, out of the pond. That would make a water change easier. I'll do that modification next time, but it's gonna take me some digging and stuff like that. But anyways, I'm just gonna go to the store now, buy a small little pump. Uh, the pond needs a water change. As you know, when I came back from my holiday trip, water sat stagnant for a bit and got algae plume. Plus also, this is a planted pond, you know, it's loaded with soil. Um, when I did this for in my aquarium, my fish tank, um, it took water changes, a couple water changes before, you know, before I can start putting stuff in there, like fish and stuff. But right now the plants are melting. Um, uh, it's getting murky because of all, you know, all that nutrients or whatever, vitamins and not vitamins, all the, you know, all the stuff from the soil seeped out into the water. So now it's kind of murky. Um, so I'm gonna go grab the pump, do a water change tonight. Uh, I'm gonna check out a couple of little fish. Uh, I'm gonna get some uh, cleaning fish. Uh, we'll, see, we'll see what they have. Anyways, let's go ahead over there right now. See what they got, and then we're gonna go home and do a little maintenance. All right, so we're done. Um, the store is pretty good overall. Uh, it doesn't specialize in planted tanks or um, nano fish like what I'm mainly focused in, but they did have a lot of selection and other things. Uh, it, it is a good coral place and and predatorial fish. But let me show you what I could find here that I, I needed and wanted. So I got some right here. Some white clouds and ember tetras. Gonna eat up those mosquitoes in my pond. Next we got, ba boom Flying foxes or Siamese algae eaters. Great for hair algae. Uh, I don't have hair algae in the pond yet, but hair algae is a thing that comes and yeah. So I gotta be, pre be prepared for that. All right, and then last up, what do I have? What do I have? Oh, and last up, we got some Celestial Pearl Daniels. So really, I got four, three cosmetic fish, or I mean, they'll eat the mosquito larvae too. And I got one maintenance fish. So I, I still need a lot more maintenance fish. Um, I'm gonna head back down to San Diego. They got awesome fish stores down there for nano fish, so I'm gonna head back down there. I'll grab some more fish down there, but that won't be until this weekend. Oh uh, yeah, I, I didn't get the pump I, I was hoping to get. I guess I'll figure out another way to drain it or I'm gonna have to order another pump online. The pump's actually pretty expensive in the stores. Um, I know the pump I got online was a pretty good pump and it didn't cost that much, but here at the store it's like four times as much. Anyways, I'm gonna head home. I'm gonna let these guys acclimate, put them in the pond, hopefully they get to work. And yeah, I figured something about the water change. Anyways, you know. All right guys, I'm home. Let's grab our fish and let's go acclimate them uh, while meeting. All right, let's take a look at, see how the pond is today. All right, I put my bag down. A lot of sludge is gone. Looks a lot clearer. Let's see. Let's see if water flow is not as strong. I mean, the pump might be a little bit clogged up. Anyways, I'm gonna put these fish in here. They've been rolling around in the car for a while. I'm stressed out. All 
I'm gonna let them sit here for a bit. I'm gonna go eat. I'll be back. Alright guys, the fish have been acclimating now for about 15 minutes or so. So the, they should be all good to go. And um, they'll be put in the pond. First up, we got the the flying foxes. I'm not sure what kind of water they had there at the place, but I, I don't want to introduce this water to my pond, so I'm gonna pour it out. All right, I didn't have a proper fish net. I should have bought one today, so I'm using a strainer. Here you go, take a look at that. All right, here they go. And there they go. Next up, we got the we got the white clouds and ember tetras. Here these guys are. They're a lot more jumpy, so I gotta put them in quick. Oh shoot! There they go. One jumped out right here. Gotta get it. All right, in we go. And lastly, we have the Daniels. Oh, that reminds me. The pond water is about like like 70, 74, 76. It's, Cool, but not cold and it's not hot. It's just perfect. And here's the last five fish. Okay, now that they're in, let's take a look at them together. I'm not sure you can see them through here. But it looks like they already took off. I don't even see them anymore. Water. Can we zoom in? Kinda. Very murky. Oh, there's some down there. I don't know if you can see those or not. There we go. Focusing a little better. But looks like. Unfortunately, we can't really see them. Not yet. The pond's still in this clear enough phase. Uh, hopefully, now they'll start gobbling down on the. On the mosquitoes. Oh, there goes some right there. There goes a Siamese algae eater. Looks like they're just swimming around the perimeter of the pond, trying to explore, see how big it actually is. And look, they're already schooling together. Can you see them on there? Looks like the white clouds and the embers are schooling together. It's pretty good. I'm pretty excited. All right, now let's give these guys time, see how they do, and then we'll check back up on them in a week or so, or tomorrow. Oh, I can't wait to add more fish. So, I guess that's it for today, guys. Um, we're making it a quick one. So, be sure to click on the like and subscribe channel to stay up to date and follow me on us on this journey as the pond evolves and the backyard evolves, see how things go. Anyways, please click on the like and subscribe button. See you again next time. What's up guys, um, just got home from the gym, took a shower, I want to go check on these fish that we just introduced to the pond today, let's go check them out. Oh man, those lights, sad, one of them's going dim or something, these are LEDs, they should last a long time, anyways, bust out my flashlight, let's take a look. You see all the way to the very bottom. Let's see, let's see if you can see any fish here. Crazy, there are earthworms in here. Let's see. I saw some earlier. Oh, there's one right there. I don't know if you can see it there. There it goes, there it goes. Oh, there's one right there. There's a flying fox and the algae. Sammy's algae eater. And then go. Hiding from the light. Oh, there's another one right there. Looks like an ember tetra or a danny or something. Oh, I see. There was another flying fox. Right there. Oh, little ember tetra again. So, I I'm surprised. Even though this pond is pretty big and these guys are very tiny, um, their presence is noticeable. And oh, there you go. I can't even go. It's a little bigger. Look at those. 
those are the custom flying foxes. There they go. But they seem to be doing well. Anyways, um, let's wrap it up for today. Tonight, let's let them go to bed. Uh, we'll follow up with them tomorrow or uh, whenever we can to see how they're doing. Anyways, um, I can't wait to add more fish in here and I can't wait to finally add my shrimps. Okay guys, I'm gonna call it night and I will see you guys later. Good night.